Hello YouTubers, this is David with Get Bent Fishing and today I'm going to be doing a unbox packaging of a Sony skeleton frame. This skeleton frame is Sony part number AKA-SF1. Uh, picked this up on eBay, uh, not very expensive, probably about the 20-ish dollar range. Um, and what this allowed me to do is Typically I would have the camera mounted, the Sony action camera mounted in the waterproof housing that comes with the camera and it does a good job when you're in a wet environment. Um, the sound, you can see there's some ports in the front to filter the sound and it doesn't do too bad of a job. It, the sound is slightly muffled, unlike a GoPro which is pretty pretty crappy actually when the, with the sound you get out of it. But it does a good job of keeping the water out and it fits the Sony AS style action cameras. So let's unbox this thing and see what's inside. So what I've got here is uh, instructions, which of course nobody ever reads, so I'm not even going to bother. You've got two brackets, and you've got this skeleton frame. And what this skeleton frame does is, it'll basically hold this camera and allow you access to the sides, back and front of the camera. It also comes with these tripod mounts, and you can see on this tripod mount, you have a standard quarter 20 thread, which helps you mount to any standard tripod. You can also do something like mount a one inch ram ball to there, and you'll be able to mount this thing to any of your Yak Attack or Ram products that use this, the screw ball type system. The bracket will mount on the bottom of the framework. You can also mount it from the inside on the sides so you can get side mounts. I'm gonna use it in a conventional form here. So what we have is a lock and unlock button. So you press the unlock portion and it swings open. Uh, it seems to be, it's a reinforced plastic and it seems to be pretty decent quality. I mean, it's not aluminum, but it'll do for what we need. And once you open it, the camera basically slides inside this framework. And once you snap it shut, press it to the lock position and it's inside the housing. You can see you have access to the record buttons on the back. You can read the screen on the side along with the previous and next buttons. And more importantly, you have full access to the stereo input mics on the front of the action camera, which give you excellent quality. To mount the tripod mount, basically this snaps onto the bottom of this framework. So you can see all you'll do is you'll just push it into position. You'll hear that snapping and it's on there. It's under pretty good, it's not going anywhere. And that'll work just for a standard tripod mount. If we wanted to use some other type of a mount, you can also use this angle bracket. And this angle bracket will mount the same way and it will give you a right angle bracket or you could use it on the side and have an offset style mount. Either one will work, but this is perfect for what we need. So there it is. You got the camera uh, with the brackets and the skeleton frame. One thing I'm going to caution you about is, if you have this mounted on the tripod, make sure when you unlock this thing and you swing this door open, you'll see what will happen is the camera will slide out of there. Because what happens is this tripod mount actually disengages. And if you have this mounted on a tripod, this camera could fall and you could damage your camera. So be careful of that when you're doing that. There you have it. Skeleton frame, the brackets, about the Sony action camera. Again, it's a Sony part number, aka-SF1. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you, catch up with you soon. Take care.